If I say the words gymnastics, what do you think of? Chances are you think of some crazy dismount or something on the rings, something like the Iron Cross. Now the Iron Cross is so famous because no other skill is so majestic, but so easy for gymnasts to do, but so hard for normal people to do. If you try it, you're just gonna wobble on the rings. Trust me, try it. Now I love to set a challenge for myself, so I tried to learn the Iron Cross in only 30 days. But I know what you guys are thinking. The Jack Vegan, you learned this in 90 days, not 30. Well, that's a whole story in itself. So let me take you back to May 2022. So in May 2022, I got a new set of gymnastics rings from Gorn Nation. These are still the set of gymnastics rings I use to this day and the one I recommend people buy. So check the link down below if you need some. But I set a goal that, okay, over the summer, I'm gonna learn a really hard skill on the rings. I'm gonna start ring training. I'm gonna learn the Iron Cross. This idea could have been the worst idea I had in my life, definitely in my training career, but also could have potentially been the worst idea I've had in my life. So what was the idea? The idea was to learn the Iron Cross in 30 days. The issue with this is with the 30 day challenges, they're so intense. You have to train so intensely that you have to recover so intensely and it's likely your body's not able to. So that means there's a high risk, but high reward. So it is a gamble. So I don't recommend anyone trains like this, but with the challenge, it was going well. I was seeing progress until I wasn't. I almost tore my pec. That's right, I almost tore right here in my pec. There was nothing dramatic, nothing crazy that happened. I just woke up the next day with a searing pain by my armpit. I knew it wasn't my muscle, this was the tendon. And from talking to my mate, he actually tore his pec learning the iron cross or trying it, attempting it. His body wasn't ready for it. So I had to call it quits or else I could have potentially ended my training career. I didn't want to do that. It was too big of a risk. So that was the end of my iron cross journey for now. After five months, I was back. That's right, five months. From that one silly mistake, it took me five months to recover from to the point where push-ups didn't hurt and where I could actually move and stretch my pet. Now that I was fully recovered, and to be fair, this collagen supplement from Viva Life this is their best supplement. One of the only ones that I will take because it actually works. So check that out. If you need a collagen supplement, your joints are hurting when you're learning some skills, try this out because it helped me. But the question did come to me. Do I start training Iron Cross again? Is the risk worth it? And ultimately it came down to this one question. Do I want to be the best? And I think you guys know from the title of the video what the answer was. So I started training. I'm not going to lie though, guys. I was scared. I was scared of tearing a pec, I was scared of getting injured, I was scared of not being able to do it, I was scared of really how long would it really take, is it worth it, it's going to affect my plants training, definitely will, am I ready for it, am I doing it right, I had all these questions, but at the end of the day, I truly knew the answer, I was only scared. So it was just time to suck it up, have some courage and start training. So I made a strength program following the strength principles. This time was gonna be different to the first time. I was gonna nail how exactly I was training for this. I was gonna train it the right way and I wasn't gonna rush anything. I was gonna let it take as much time as I needed to get the skill. And training was going good so far. No pain, no anything, no weird twinges or things here and there, tearing slightly, nothing like that. However, this was the most tiring skill I've ever trained. There's no other skill I feel like that actually drains me after a single set as much as the iron cross. I did start getting slight elbow pain in my right elbow and that's because my right bicep is slightly weaker than my left bicep. I never have elbow injuries on this arm but elbow issues on this arm can happen quite often so that's because of my bicep so I did try and target my bicep a lot more and take it a lot slower just so I didn't injure this arm. Again I kept taking that collagen supplement and that did help. It's hard to say whether I was just narrowly avoiding injury or if I was that close to injury or or if actually that was quite normal for the iron cross, hard to say because I've not talked to that many people that have learned it. I do know it's quite a painful skill in general. However, that was my experience. I was following the strength principles. What I do for my clients as well, I'm a personal coach. I follow the strength principles, set up their programs just like that in methods that work. And I'm not gonna lie, it did seem to be working. So I finished my conditioning sometime in October. So near the end of October is when I started directly training the skill. So November, December, then into January. That's how long I was doing my strength phase of training 
And this was the only time I was able to actually get close enough to where I had the strength to actually attempt the skill. Before then, I didn't even have the strength to attempt it. So now it was time to actually attempt the Iron Cross, see if I unlocked it. I wasn't even prepared to even get even close to the Iron Cross. So I was actually more worried about getting injured. Is this gonna be the last attempt I do of anything ever? Is my pet just gonna tear? Am I gonna get an elbow injury? I was getting the right one flaring up here and there. It was manageable. The only thing left was to find out how strong am I? Did I do this right? Is this a mistake doing an attempt? It was time to just see. In only three months of direct strength skill training, I unlocked the Iron Cross. It was three months of conditioning, five months of recovery, but in the end, we did do it and I didn't expect to get it that quick. I'm not gonna lie. I wasn't weak. I did train right. I was actually a little bit smart about it in the end. And this wasn't a skill only for elite gymnasts. If you want to know the exact method and routine I use to unlock the Iron Cross, the conditioning exercises as well, let me know in the comments below. Thank you all to my channel members that help support the channel and help me keep making content like this and training the skills I love and help you guys out as well. If you are struggling with calisthenics and need a personal trainer, I'm here to help. Go to the link in the pinned comments and try and find out how I can help you. And if you like these calisthenics training videos, you're gonna love this video because I explain how I was able to learn the extremely hard skill of the planche in only a couple of weeks with a workout routine that works for 97% of people.